I came across Levi's poems one day, and he's been my idol since then. I was curious as to what kind of soil breeds a man like that. I constantly pursued, trying to find the answer. I'm Gareth Benello from Wales in the UK. A flight from Wales to Qinglian takes only a little over 10 hours. While this journey took me more than 10 years, I've been searching, wishing to understand Li Bai and find myself. I wish to find the answers here with my own hands, to touch his warmth, to catch a glimpse of his young figure, to hear the reading echoing in the rain and moonlight at the yard at Li Bai Memorial Museum, Tai Bai Temple, a heart-to-heart -heart talk with his soul. At the Tai Bai Monument, all of a sudden, it came to me. The artistic conception that toasts to the moon falls on us to three shadows. I walk into this world in this county with the sounds and smells of Qinglian. All the bricks, the trees, the stones, and trails express the atmosphere of poetry. Good. Spring rolls, made by Grandma Dong, have been here for decades. Sichuan embroidery tells the bond of Li Bai and his sister. With the heroic toasts of the Bai Ma minority, I can even sense the original vigor and unrestrained character of Li Bai. To pursue his footprints at the countryside, looking for his breath in the historic space, refreshing words in the mountains and rivers, it all becomes the legend of this land. The sound of his poems always whispers by my ears and is deeply etched in my mind. His birth in the mountains and water at Qinglian and growth in a thousand-year-old culture. Here, he was shaped to be a great poet. A legendary place is bound to give birth to another one. Li Bai's hometown, Qinglian, a place of romance. Qinglian International Poetry Town.